Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be my April favorites. I'm so excited to be going into May because that is my birthday month. So yeah, I'm excited. I'll be turning 34. Like I can't believe it. I'm in, I don't know, is that considered mid thirties? I don't know, I'm getting old, but oh well, you know, with age comes wisdom, so I'm not scared of getting old. But anyway, I have quite a bit of favorites here. Uh, I've been trying out a lot of stuff this month that I've absolutely loved. So if you want to see what my favorites were for the month of April, then just keep watching. All right, so my first favorites, two favorites kind of go hand in hand because I've been mixing them together. And it is the NARS Foundation. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I did an entire review on this product. I can link that up above if you want to check it out but I've been mixing in the glow getter liquid illuminizer from flower beauty which looks like this this was sent to me from flower beauty so thank you flower beauty for sending this to me but this is a really awesome liquid illuminator now I've been mixing these two together so I'll do like four pumps of this and a half a pump of this just to give some luminosity to the skin because I've really been liking glowing skin I haven't really liked the really matte look that I used to like um and I think a bunch of you have noticed that you've all been like oh my god your skin's so glowing that's because I'm not powdering it down and using thick heavy foundation so I've really been loving this this is what you've seen in my videos when my skin was like super glowy it's also a really good dupe for um the Marc Jacobs dew drops uh, this is an amazing dupe. It's pretty much the same color. This is a little bit more golden than this one, but if you want a more affordable option and you don't want to drop the hefty price tag on this, I would definitely recommend the Flower Beauty, you know, luminizers. All right, the next item I was super intrigued about because I saw a bunch of the bigger YouTubers get it in PR packages and were raving about it. And sometimes when bigger YouTubers get things for free. I want to, and like rave about it. I want to try it out because I want to see if they're like telling the truth. Um, so I did go ahead and pick up one of the KKW Beauty concealers. I have been using this for a couple weeks now. I got it on the first launch. I got number four, which is just light with neutral undertones. And I'm obsessed with this. And I hate saying that I'm not a Kardashian fan. I've never been into the Kardashians. I've never watched one episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Not my style of TV or influence. But she killed it with these concealers. I don't know what it is about it, but here's the applicator. Um, it's so creamy, so pigmented, but it blends out so beautifully on the skin and so easily. It's like did 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 blended out, done, pigmentation. But it also is like trying to just like it's not matte it's very skin like it, it uh, it's like pretty glowy underneath the eye it doesn't look matte or cakey it just looks very hydrated you just have I don't know if you can see it there um it has like a glow to it um I do have a highlighter right there but right here it does have like a glisten like a skin like look to it and I'm just obsessed with it I I will like God honest truth, I'm throwing out all my other concealers, which sucks because I just bought two concealers in the um, uh, Sephora uh, VIB sale, which I will be filming that haul soon. But this is definitely my new favorite concealer. I loved it so much that I went ahead and ordered the baking powder as well as the illuminating powder, and I will be testing them out along with it. But if you were skeptical about these concealers, I would say try it, especially if you have dry, high, like dehydrated under eyes. I think you would absolutely love it. I just love the texture of it. I love the blendability. I love the pigmentation. I love the way it looks afterwards. Like, I'm so impressed with this. I'm like, just so impressed with it. I love it. So I've been self tanning a lot right now. I'm not self tan. I'm super pasty pale tail, but I have been alternating two bronzers that I love. Both of them were sent to me. Um, Estee Lauder sent me this one and number seven sent me this one. But the number seven one I've been using when I'm really fair. This is what I have on now and this is in the shade Maple. And I love this bronzer. It's just the perfect neutral tone. It's not too warm for my fair skin, but not too cool to where I look kind of dead. Like I said, I have it on today. This kind of reminds me, like this shade reminds me of the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer, the one in the white that like everybody's going crazy about. 
it has a similar tone to it. So if you don't want to get that one or you can't get your hands on it, I would definitely try out this one. And then when I have been uh, self tan and super tan, I've been going in with the Estee Lauder bronzed goddess. Like I said, they did send this to me. This is a huge bronzer, like huge, but I really, this is actually in light, even though it looks really dark. I, I don't know what like medium would look like, but when I'm self tan, this is perfect because it almost has like a reddish undertone. So it gives you like that pretty like natural, like kiss by the sun look because it has that red undertone in it. So I just feel like it looks really natural when I'm self tan. It blends out really beautifully. I have been loving this like for tan skin, just I think this is going to be my go-to summer bronzer because I really like the Marc Jacobs one, but when I'm self-tanned, it's almost too cool toned for me. So, and I, just when I'm tanned, I like a more reddish undertone bronzer. So I love this and look how big, like let's compare it to the number seven. Look, look at those pan sizes. This is huge. I feel like I'm going to have this for the rest of my life. Okay, I've been obsessed with this highlighter again. I've kind of been digging through my collection. I need to reorganize everything. I need to get more, uh, I guess organized is what I'm trying to say. I don't know, I'm tired. <laughs> um, but I pulled back out the Becca Opal highlighter, which I'm almost hitting pan on. I love this highlighter. Like, it's just so pretty. I have it on today. It just goes with everything. It matches my skin tone, whether I'm really fair or I'm, or I'm more tanned. Like, I forgot how much I love this. I really do recommend uh, Becca's highlighters. Um, they're just, there's nothing, there's literally nothing bad to say about them. They're awesome. They have so many different shades for different skin tones and undertones. So, um, but Opal, I would have to say, now, it used to be Champagne Pop, but I would have to say, Opal is definitely my favorite out of all of their highlighters. I just think it's so universal. Okay, next is a fairly new product that I've seen all over YouTube. And when it came up in the Octilly store, I was like, yes, I want that. So I ordered it through the Octilly store and Becca was kind enough to send it to me. And it is their Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This has been literally all over YouTube. And I was super like interested in it at the moment. I think Tati did a review on it. I saw hers. I was super interested in trying it, but she did put it on her under eyes and was like, that's a no-go. So I have not tried it there. But if you have dry aged skin, like if you're getting older, if you're in your 30s like me, I think you would love this. Or if you have dry skin, um, it does have like a little lid. Yeah, here, popping it open. And it has like a netting, like, and oh my God, like my finger feels wet. It is insane. I've never, here I'm rubbing it on my finger instead of the back of my hand. I have never experienced anything like this. It's a powder, like I'm looking at it. It is a powder, but when you put it on your face, it feels cool and wet. Like I feel like I'm putting wet on my face, but I never look powdery. Like no matter how much I put on, it looks so good. I, I, don't know what kind of trickery or magic that they put in this but if you have dry skin and you still need to set your makeup I would recommend this I love this this is for the summer I just feel like it's gonna be so cooling and refreshing and I have even been using this without any makeup like if I'm doing a no makeup day where I just want some like it almost like blurs out your pores and gives you like a little nice like natural sheen to your skin um, I've, I've just really been loving it even without foundation. I I don't know. Go try it. Like, just do yourself a favor. Go try it. If you have oily skin, I don't think you would like this because it is so hydrating. Um, but if you have dry skin, I would recommend it. I love this. I think, and it just sucks because I was just saying last month that my powder favorite, like my new go-to was the Charlotte Tilbury, like flawless finishing powder. And no, this tops that all day every day I love this it just feels so good on the skin go try it you're welcome okay as for lips I have not put this shade down since I got it and this is salt life from Tarte I think it's like their rainforest of the sea color splash and it's just a pretty like nudie mauvey color and I've just been loving this and they're so comfortable to wear I just, I love these lipstick formulas. I've gotten two now. I have Rum Punch and this, but I definitely want to get more. But look at that. It's so pretty. They're so comfortable on the lips. I love 
love, love, love this color. So if you were on the fence about getting these, I definitely recommend it. I recommend Soft Light, Soft Light? What the hell am I saying? Salt Life. If you like mauve toned lips, you will love this. And then Rum Punch is more of like a brownie nude, which is like my go-to. It's what I'm wearing today. Today I'm wearing the Kat Von D studded lipstick in uh, bow and arrow, which I love. This will, I've been wearing this ever since I got it like a week ago. I haven't had it that long, so I didn't want to put it in my favorites, but it's definitely going to be a favorite because it's my favorite nude lip color. What can I say? All right, my next favorite is the Ofra Blush in Bellini. Bell Bellini. I cannot talk. Bellini. Um, I've talked about this before. I think I put it in my favorites last month and it is still my favorite. They did send this to me. Ofra did send me this. Um, and it's a mess because it kind of cracked during shipping, but it didn't like, I don't know, it was just all over the place, but it didn't crack. But it's just a really beautiful peachy pink blush. And I have been wearing this when I'm fair, like I have it on now. And I've also been wearing this when I'm tan and just building up the pigmentation. I think this is a beautiful spring to summer blush. I just really love it. Like, I want to definitely get more blushes from Ofra. I think it's, I just think they're really good. Like they're blendable. They're not drying. They don't look cakey on the skin. And this color is just beautiful. So I do recommend the Ofra blushes. Okay, last favorite. I was super skeptical about trying out any brow powder because I really don't have a lot of brows, but I've been using the Rodan and Fields Lash Boost on my eyebrows, and now I actually have to pluck my eyebrows, which I don't know if I like that or not, but it's definitely making like up here, like have more hair. Like I've actually had to trim my eyebrow hair. Um, so now I was like, well, you know what? Let me try a powder since I have more hair for it to grab hold to. And I love this. And this is the foolproof brow powder by Benefit. Mine is in shade three, shade three. I really like this and it's kind of like an ombre. So you can put the light. I always do this the wrong way. So let me do, let me, let me get myself straight. So I really like this. Oh my God, I cannot, I'm a horrible beauty blogger, but it has like the light to dark. And I really like this because it gives you more of a natural brow. I do have this on along with the Precisely My Brow in shade two. And then I go in and like any blotchy areas or areas I want to just add some more pigment to, I go in with this and I really been loving that it, it gives you more of a natural brow. I have used it just this on its own when I want a more natural brow. Um, but I'm really surprised it even sticks to the skin. Like it's even sticking to places that I don't have a lot of hair, which is very impressive for a powder because I've tried like the Anastasia powder. I've tried, um, the Gerard Cosmetics, like brow bar to go. None of those work for me, but this does. So I really recommend this. I really have been enjoying it. And it just makes the the brows look a little bit more natural. All right, guys, so that was it for my monthly favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know down below what your favorites were and if you tried any of this or what I should be trying next month. I do have a Sephora VIB haul coming. That will be the next video up after this one. And I will be having a lot of reviews and, you know, probably new favorites because I've already been trying some of this stuff and I really like it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. Hit the like button if you did like it and make sure you hit the subscribe. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that little bell notification because I've noticed a lot of you telling me you're not getting my videos in your feed. So make sure you hit that little bell so you get notified when I do upload. And a giveaway will be coming up probably the video after the haul. So stay tuned for that. But I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.